All right, we're in Pilot Point, Texas today at CNC Ranch at Chad and Susie Chance, home of Hoof Watch. And we're gonna be making two shoes from Sheridan. We're gonna be making the lateral breakover shoe and a hind preventer roadster in the individual class sponsored by Man Montana Farrier Supply. One of the shoes is gonna be a three ace by three quarter by 11 and a half inches long. It's gonna be the diagonal breakover shoe. And basically the test in this shoe is to have a straight line coming across the diagonal and then filling it back in with a safed off toe to fill in that radius. We've got a couple of clips on it, five nails. Another test will be getting that five libero arc nail in this shoe. We have more thickness in the medial. It's a thicker shoe and then it's a thinner shoe on the lateral side that gives you a slight taper off to the lateral toe quarter. Uh, this shoe is, is uh, it measures five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And uh, just, it's, it's a tricky little shoe that is hammer finished. All right, this is a piece of three eighths, three quarter, 11 and a half inches long. I'm gonna run down the branch and kinda hold everything at an angle to where I make a bit of a wedge. Come on around the outside edge. So I'm just forging a nice heel. This will give me some material to kind of make it a bit thicker because the medial aspect of this branch is, shoe is th thicker than the lateral aspect of this branch. Of shoe, I'm sorry. Crack the toe. And now just kind of flatten everything up. I've got, I really want to get the horseshoe completely built before I, I commit to my medial fuller end and my diagonal breakover. All right, we're coming around the outside edge and just kind of, we, it's a hammer finish shoe, so we're trying to get rid of any kind of cold shut, anything that would make a unsightly mar on the outside of that branch. We only got one shot to make these heels, so making those as nice as possible. And bring it all the way around. So then we'll just come here and I'm not going to pinch hammer on horn, I'm just going to go past. You can see the beginnings of my corner. What we're going to do is we're going to straighten it up and what we lack in the perimeter, we'll pull it back out like we're pulling a clip and have the safety. Just going to be here, going to commit, just pushing it in a bit, pulling now a little bit. Then you do the exact same thing to this side. Pushing down a little bit, pulling just a little bit. Because we're gonna pull and make a straight line. I'm trying to keep a parallel edge to that inside edge. If you, you don't wanna go too much on one or the other. And then just pull it out in the center. Now flip it over, and I'm just gonna do the, the very center to get it the radius. is right here, I got a hump, so I'm just gonna clean that up. To that side, and get a little bit of daylight, and clean that up onto that side. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more, but I've already got to where I have enough forging done to where I can commit to my, my medial toe and my lateral beginning of my fullering. What I'm doing is I got my I got the heel drifting down, obviously, because I have more material on my lateral side. So now I got my heels where I want them. So now I use the edge of the anvil as a marker. There, and flip it around and do the same. 
Use your heels. Come to the widest part of the shoe. I'm gonna come down a little bit. Just kinda cleaning this line up every time. Kind of clean up your edges, go over the top. That cleans up that inside check. And right here, just flatten it up to get some width before you, that fuller will dive out on you if you don't flatten that up. I'll just punch it and be done with that side. Then you come here and just kind of make it, he's got it safed off pretty nice here. Finish it off and bring it around. It's kind of open there. Just bringing it around. And now I'm ready to do the other side. I don't have as much of this that I need, so I'm gonna kinda accentuate that, and then I'll fuller the lateral branch. And then I'm gonna hem it, and get that branch to come around a little bit. And this has got a lot of boxing on this outside branch, so I'm just gonna get some of that boxing out of the way. So you see that this little bump, you can see the bump right here, so I'm gonna just hold it here, get rid of that bump, straighten that out. Now I got a little bump here. What that did is that straightened that whole deal out of there. Again, right here, straighten that whole deal. And then I can come back and pull that material out and make a nice clean radius. You gotta bunch them up because you don't wanna be way back in the foot. Got a healthy amount of boxing. Just kind of opening it up.
Since it's a hammer finish shoe, I'll just run the edges on both sides and clean up the, uh, just make the aesthetics of it look a little more pleasing. Hammer finish, and it's got a, a I, I let it get away from me and you can see I got a little divot there a little bit, but I just sweetened it up ever so slightly to give a little bit more thickness. You can see the thickness there compared to there. This is set up for a libero five, so you want to trough it out pretty good to where you can get that, that nail down in there.